So my research examines why it is that human societies reliably develop strikingly similar cultural practices. So for instance, if you created a new human society on a small island, brand new, and you came back in 2000 years, they would have law, they would have religion, they would, they would have aesthetic practices. Um, and so my research aims to, to understand why. What is it about our psychology, about our society, about the way culture evolves that leads to these complex cultural universal practices? Yeah, so one topic that I have studied in depth has been shamanism. So around the world you have this practice in which specialists enter altered states and provide services like healing and divination. So it's a pretty puzzling package of practices and beliefs. And so in my research, I have studied shamanism across cultures, analyzing cross-cultural databases, and really studied it in depth um, in Indonesia, where I've been conducting fieldwork, to try to understand what it is about human psychology and about our culture that produces this puzzling, this puzzling practice. So I joined IST for, I think, the same reasons that many people join it. One, the interdisciplinarity. I get to interact every day with economists, biologists, sociologists, historians, get a new perspective on my work, on my questions. The second is the independence, the ability to spend this time doing my work. And the third is just the intellectual vitality or dynamism. We have these visitors, we have talks, we have many conferences. It is just a rich, jungle of ideas. Yeah, so an example of a project that was made easier by being at IST was a paper that I just wrote with Zach Garfield. So last year Zach was giving a talk on conflict resolution across societies and while he was giving the talk I realized that I had collected a data set in the field, in my field work, that could get exactly at what he was, at what he was asking, a, a data set of conflict and resolution in, in Indonesia. So I was emailing him during the talk we met up, we designed a project, we analyzed my data using his questions, and um, the paper was just accepted yesterday at Nature Human Behavior. Um, and so that was a project that would not have been possible were I not at IST. I love Toulouse, it's beautiful and has a great quality of life. My favorite place is a cafe called Mini Fundi up by Matabio, by the train station. I go there almost every day and I work there and they have incredible cookies. Every day I go there and I buy a cookie. And I have actually gotten so many cookies and been such a reliable customer that they are talking about creating t-shirts that have a drawing of my face on them and say Cookie Monster, which I would love, which I would buy 10 of. So a nice thing about being at IST, I mean there are of course many nice things, but one thing that's actually been very special is that we are in a part of France that is just incredible. And you start and there are a number of other fellows here. And so what we have done is that we've actually had a chance to really explore the area with the other fellows. We have gone on a lot of camping trips, we've gone to the sea, we've gone skiing, we just went to Andorra. Um, yeah, it's an, it's an incredible part of the world, even aside from, from all of the research opportunities. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful life. Thank you.